we'll start with teaching Bandit to go to her crate. I'm going to have a treat, and I'm going to put it on her nose and say, Bandit, go to bed and throw my treat in. I'm going to click as soon as she's into the crate completely. Then I'm going to also add a secondary treat, a little bonus, to encourage her to stay in. Young untrained dogs might want to rush out of the crate really quickly. So the simple bonus at the end encourages them to kind of hang out for a little bit. Then if they run out, it's not a big deal because we're going to repeat that first step over and over until they're super comfortable. So in the next step, I'm going to be using a signal to send her into the crate, almost exactly like I did with the treat, but now my hand is empty and I'm going to throw the treat in afterwards. Bandit, go to your crate. And then there's my treat after the fact for her going into the crate. You're going to repeat this step for a while until she's really effortlessly going in when you point. Don't forget to click when she's in the crate and don't forget to give that treat after the fact. You don't want to start bouncing checks by not giving the treat after you've given the click. Once your dog is reliably going in the crate and getting the treat after the fact, you're ready to add a little bit of distance to this so that you don't have to stand next to the crate every time you want them to go in it. You can stand anywhere in the room and say go to your crate and they'll run into their crate. You want to start and do this in little doses though, so I'm not going to go too far from the crate to start. I'm going to stay close by, but I'm not going to be right next to it. Bandit! Okay, go to your crate. Go. Good girl! I click, throw my treat in, make sure she gets it, and then I can close the crate or I can practice again and get some more repetition in.